Hello, I'm Dr. Marty Harris, and I'm going to show you how to use Inspiration Graphic Mapping Software. There are two versions of Inspiration Software. One is called Kidspiration, K-I-D, Kidspiration, and it is for younger children, kindergarten, first, and second graders. Inspiration is used with older children, and adults love it too. You can actually get it free from inspiration.com for 30 days. But after your 30 days are up, you'll have to pay for it. But if you're a university student here at Texas A&M University, Texarkana, it is available at the computer labs. You would go into a computer lab and go to Start and All Programs and you should be able to find it somewhere in here. Sometimes it's actually over here on the side, so be sure to look around. There's mine, Inspiration. Let's give it a try. Now my version is Inspiration 8. When you get your free version, it may be a newer version, and therefore, when you come to the university and you bring that new version and try to go work in the lab, you won't be able to open it up. So pay attention to which version you have. To begin with, we'll start with the diagram. I'm going to show you how to make a map. I'm going to talk to you about efficiency and using the templates. Then I'll talk to you about saving it and that will conclude our lesson on inspiration. When you first come into diagram view you will see a main idea bubble. You should also see the symbols menu over here on the left. If you don't see it go to view and check mark symbols palette so you have that very handy menu. You'll need it as you build your map. The map I'm going to build today is about the pets I had as a child. To add a bubble to my main idea I go up to create and select which direction I want the next bubble to go and type in my information. We had lots of dogs when I was growing up. Believe it or not, we also had monkeys. And birds. And just for fun, I'll put in the fact that when my mom was growing up, she had an alligator in the basement. Okay, I've got a good start here, but it's going kind of slow, so I can make it go faster by using rapid fire. I click on the bubble I want to build upon, then I click on the lightning of rapid fire, and you see the little lightning signal down here. And now all I have to do is type in and hit enter and it makes the bubble. Our first dog was Ragsy and my Chihuahua was Jose. Let's do that again. Monkeys. Rapid fire. Charlie. Enter. Sammy. Enter. Click and drag and move the bubbles around the way you like them. You can even move these lines by clicking on them, then grab the little end of it. There we go. Okay, the bubbles and the map are looking pretty good, but they're rather boring. I can make them more interesting by adding color and improving the font. I'm going to click on the main ones and use shift to grab them all. Come up here to text 
and change the font and change the size of the font and maybe add some color to the font. Make a few adjustments and things are getting better. It's still kind of boring, so I can make different shapes for the different concepts by clicking on them and coming to the library and changing that, maybe make it a little larger. I can also add pictures without losing the words. I'll go to the library, pick animals, you see there's lots of different ones, and add a dog, or add a bird, a monkey, and an alligator. Wow, now it's getting exciting. But I'm not so sure I like the arrangement, so I can come up here to Arrange, More Options. I think I'll try a right tree. You get to see it, and select it. Now, the question that's in my mind is, will this fit on a piece of paper? Is it in the middle? Is it big? Too little? So I can use the zoom in and the zoom out to help figure that out. But what I like to do is go to Print Preview, and I see that it's exactly where I wanted it to be and now I'm comfortable with the arrangement. Another thing that you can do is add links. So you would just come in here and put the URL to link to alligator information. Let's go to outline view. We've been in diagram view all this time. The outline view can be very wonderful. For example, I like to use it to check my spelling. You see, Ragsy is underlined in red because the, the computer thinks that's spelt wrong. It's not. But another thing I like about outline view is I can look at it conceptually and realize that I left out the name of the bird. So I'll click right here on birds, hit subtopic, and put Annie as the name. I should use lowercase because I did on the other names. Now when I go back to diagram view, there's Annie's name. Some people like to use the outline view because it's very efficient. Others like to play with the bubbles and do one at a time or use rapid fire. Any way that you choose is just fine. Speaking of being efficient, one of the things I love about inspiration are the templates. Let's go find the template. Open template. There it is. I'm going to show you four of my favorites. To begin with, under science, there's the scientific method. There it is. Oh, how I wish I would have had this all those years I taught science fair information. Another favorite of mine is the good old Venn diagram, making comparisons. You see, the templates tell the students 
or you exactly what to write in. Another one that does comparisons is under Language Arts. Comparison Essay. And there's even another one that's Characters in Literature Comparison. Finally, let me show you a favorite for all teachers, Substitute Lesson. Isn't that great? The last thing we're going to talk about is saving your graphic map. If I were ready to save my Substitute Lesson Plan, I would come up here to File, Save As, and put it in my folder. But here's the glitch in the plan. If you have not purchased the software and you're using the free software from inspiration.com and then you come into the computer lab here at the university, you won't be able to open your new version because we may not have that version. So one of the things that I have learned to do is I save it as a GIF file. So I will come in here and instead of going to Save As, I go to Export and I'll pick Graphic File, GIF. And then I will save it into my folder as a GIF file. There are some other ways to save it. File, Export, you could do a word processor or a PowerPoint slide or even a web page. Well, that's it for inspiration graphic mapping. I hope you will be brave and be inspired and get into this program and give it a try. Thanks for listening.